hyphens in the prompt is a comment just to explain the things in wordings also i am using that before that how do i give a selective deletion i want to say delete in the table where the pnr number is equal to 114 delete only this record i want to do that if you want to do that say delete from my table okay if you simply give all the records will be gone but delete from my table you have to give a condition if you want to give a condition the keyword is where again you can type it in lower case just want to make sure i just type it in capital letters where is used for condition if you want to give a condition use the where clause where pnr number equal to 113 look here it says one row affected if you simply give delete from my table all the four rows will be affected i have given a condition where column name equal to some value now let us do a select look here previously that record 113 was there now it has deleted only that record so delete whenever you are using delete do not give simply a delete from the table semicolon enter it will delete all the records instead always try to give a condition condition is given by where where some column name equal to some value i can also say delete from this where pnr number greater than 112 right greater than or equal to 112 now it says two records are deleted because 112 is one record 114 is another record so there are two records which got deleted now if you simply say select there is only one record remaining so you can use greater than less than less than or equal to greater than or equal to right everything can be done so whenever you are using a delete definitely use where condition it's a must is this clear good now we will be going through some more commands right tomorrow on the select statement there are different classes in select itself there are a lot of classes i can use the where clause in select also right how how can i do that let me do the inserts once again now there are three different records select star from my table right now i want to do a select show me select star from my table where train number greater than 222 or so 223 it displays if i simply say select star from my table without where condition it shows all tables if i put a where condition whichever record that satisfies the condition it shows only that so the where condition can be used in select statement also okay we will be seeing more such combinations of select statement and there is one more thing called update statement different built in functions date formats in the next class tomorrow in the meantime any questions uh, for today's chapter in today's of again as i said every day you'll be going through a lot of keywords today if i summarize alter table add column modify column and then drop column we talked about not null we also talked about primary key we talked about inserting to specific columns alone we talked about delete statement where clause right we have gone through at least 12 different and then the keywords like sum count min max today itself we have crossed 20 keywords in my sequel they are all simple english keywords but unless you install my sequel and then practice it's very difficult to remember so the key is download my sequel practice as simple as that okay
okay i could see a lot of questions coming from the interview point okay uh, one thing i want to say a simple example is how to find the third highest train number okay first to learn the purpose of this webinar is not to prepare you for the interview first learn my sql practice all the other things are combinations of select insert update delete if you are confident on of these things you can you can crack those things not an issue but this is not a place where we want to train you people in terms of interview questions let us be very clear in the webinars we are ready to give concepts and the knowledge practicing is in your hands that is the key okay okay now uh, a question of uh, one person has asked can we change the record content yes you can change we will be talking about that in detail tomorrow but to just quickly tell that how to do that i'm going to say the command is update update mind table set doj equal to sys date okay i did that now i do a select statement look at this i can change the content of a record previously it was not it was empty now it is having the value update is the one that is used for changing the content okay if you want to update for only one particular record right use where condition along with the update statement that you will see tomorrow anyway anything if you want to have selective you have to give a where condition someone has asked uh, a question on uh, difference between a primary key and a unique key we, will, we have not talked about unique index today when we come out to unique index we will talk about that copying content of one table to another table right again it's an insert statement and there is something called you have to have an insert table statement and you have to have a select statement so the moment you have these two you can do that probably i will show that tomorrow because we have to have two different tables created and data populated you will see that tomorrow basically you create one table put data in that table you create another empty table insert into the new table from the original table so you have to have a combination of an insert and a select okay mysql will work fine with i i'm sure on is uh, install so i don't see any issue right probably you need to get the version which is compatible for that from the website either we can delete all the records or we can delete one record or multiple records based on the satisfaction criteria right so it's all depending upon the where clause whether you want to delete one record or multiple records it is how you format the where clause one person has asked the difference between sql and mysql see my ms sql server oracle mysql all are conceptually same they are all database rdbms syntax is different storage format is different apart from that conceptually all are different okay again the efficient the difference between character and var char okay the character suppose i say character of 10 i store only 2 bytes still in the disk it allocates 10 bytes it uses only the first 2 bytes the remaining 8 bytes are not used whereas if i use var char it will allocate only 2 bytes depending upon my data if i give only 5 characters in the insert it will use only 5 bytes it will not store all the 10 bytes so it's a some amount of uh i would say storage efficiency okay i will some of the questions are pointing to uh database administrative side and uh, and other questions are pointing to the things that we are going to talk tomorrow multiple uh the var class conditions and uh different ways of selecting 
sorting basically ordering ascending descending and we'll be talking about index also tomorrow and date related questions also tomorrow so in the meantime we will uh, you can download it and then practice it we will connect once again tomorrow and then go extensively into the where classes sorting right and then there is there are more classes in the create statement itself like default class right and some something called the constraints we will talk about those things tomorrow itself okay thanks a lot i'll disconnect now uh, we'll meet tomorrow